Yo, what is going on guys, Many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. A couple of things to run through first of all, uh, shout out all those people that watched the training video, I appreciate it. I know that you guys don't like it when you get matches, but it's nice if you support all the content. If you haven't watched the training video, then I'm... <coughs> Secondly, I'm going to be giving back because I know a lot of you guys have supported this all the way through from the start till this current point now. So what I'm going to do is I'm giving away a PlayStation 4. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is literally you follow my Insta, you follow the Under The Radar Insta and you tell me your favourite goal so far this season for UTR. I'd say you have about four or five days from when this video goes out. That's plenty of time. So please guys, don't message me after that saying, are oh, you still giving away the PS4? Please don't do that. But I decided to give back to you guys because you support it so much so far and I really appreciate it. Also, I have too many PS4s. And finally, you've probably seen Toby's video by now, but if you haven't, uh, check it out and then you can see where I got this from. Anyway, over to the football side of things and we are back. We are back for a cup game. This is probably one of the biggest ones so far. It's a quarter final and it's a team that we are very, very familiar with. Yes, that is right. We are playing against Spring Hill United. We've played them twice already this season, beating them 2-1 in the cup and also 5-1 in the league. So yeah, I guess now it's basically time to see if we can make it three out of three. First up though, let's check in with the UTR gang. Clarence the Melon literally has come through, kept it simple, and he just says, always. He's added me, added under the radar, so I'm guessing that means you always watch it. So see, this is, this is why the PS4 is there, for guys like you. Nah, thank you Clarence, for real. Ben Steen says, watching the lads first training session, not seen a Sunday team so organised and well structured as under the radar FC. Well done lads, keep up the good work from Bournemouth. Uh, I don't know about us being the most well organised Sunday league team, I'm pretty sure there's better ones. But, you know, we'll take the compliment and we'll move on, thank you Ben. Kirsty Blade says, I'll say it again, what Sundays are made for, being lazy and under the radar FC. I think she's actually right. She is right, love that Kirsty. Shiny Hunter 1794, how I will be spending the next six weeks. This gives me the time to go back and rewatch all your games. Keep up the good work from Australia. Uh, forgive me for being nosy, but how did that happen? Tweet me. Also, wish you a speedy recovery. And finally, we've got AJ who's watching from Qatar and he says he should be sleeping, but he can't miss a UTR video. Keep up the great work. And he's also got that nice little light with UTR gang and he's added me in it. That's lovely, appreciate that AJ. See, it's because of people like that that we have to do that giveaway and <laughs> it's going to be one lucky winner. Time for the lineup. This week and we have Corey between the sticks. At right back we have Lewis. Centre backs for this week we have Jamie and Carell. Left back to start this week is Jamil. In midfield and we have Tolu, myself and Simon playing just a bit ahead. Out wide on the right we have Toby. On the left we have Jed and going through the middle we have Thomas. On the bench this week we have Sam, Luke, Reggie and Lamre returning from injury. Left. 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 Right. Come on, you. Look. Left. <laughs> that one went sharp for you. Left. <laughs> Left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> left. Oh, left. 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 This is my game, right? Left. Left. Oh, oh, left. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Right. Oh, it's too quick. Sorry. Right. Whoa, no, this is my game. Move. Oh, no, 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 left. Alright, Lewis, put some more in, man. Left. Hey, no, you're left. Left. Right. Oh, left. 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 <laughs> left. <laughs> Pre match prediction, Lou? Um, win 3 1, I think. I don't know much about this side, so it's just a guess, but I'll rate us against this side. Only played them twice this year. I don't think I was there at either game. I'm not going to lie. But you're a defender and you don't have any faith in the defence to keep a clean sheet? Well. No, bro. These men are talking about, oh yeah, that guy can't be pleased for so and so, isn't it? So, alright, so we might have a threat, but we'll see, innit? Deal with it. How's everyone feeling? 
Good. Great. Yeah. Good. 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 Um, all I have to say really is, can we play as a unit? Can we do things as a unit? Can we communicate as a unit? I expect the guys with the voices to speak up, even the guys that don't really speak up now today. Um, with regards to team and whatnot, the people that were at training on Sunday and stuff, can you think about what we practice, what we learn when the wing backs get the ball and stuff? Can we give options? Not one option, not that, just that line option. Mm -hmm. Two options. I'm not feeling 100%, but for those of you who are feeling great, that's why I asked it. I need everything from you. We know how these guys play. If you give them a chance, they'll score. Let's keep it as that, so we give them nothing. Defenders on this pitch, it's not the Astro, so we don't play. If it's on, if you feel like it's on, play. If not, it goes. Let Jed and Toby get running. Thomas, I need you to hold it. If you want to spin, do the movement. Don't just stand still. And depending on how they're playing, I just need you to be on their Keep deepest us, midfielder. Yeah, yeah. But I need energy from everyone. Like this, from may, this is a cup game, who cares? We think of it like a league game. We need to win cups. Everybody wants to win a trophy, you know? So we don't lose today. That's all I'm saying. And midfielders, full backs and centre backs especially, you lot will see plenty of the ball today, yeah? Because of what we went off in training. So be confident. Know now you're going to get the ball. So don't be surprised when someone passes it to you. The next pass, if it's not on, it goes and we chase. No matter what, we keep a clean sheet. And let's get into the next round, boys. Come on, boys. Put it into them, boys. All right, game time. Can we make it? Three out of three against Spring Hill. It's not going to be an easy game. It's a cup quarter final, so I'm pretty sure both sides will be up for it. So here we go. Spring Hill ready to kick us off. They do just that, and we are underway. I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering what kind of UTR will we see today? Will we start fired up from the start? Will we be slow out from the blocks like we have been in the past? I'm hoping not, as Jed tries to play a ball in behind looking for Toby and the number 11 and a combination of the keeper as well uh, just managed to get it clear. It still comes back out to Jed. It comes to me, I try and go through the gap. I'm stopped by the number six and Spring Hill can put this one out of play. It looks like we're trying to start on the front foot as this time I clip it forward looking for Thomas. Number four has won the first header. It's gonna drop down to Simon who gets it up and tries to volley it there. I'm not sure where that would have went. Uh, it's gone back, dropped in the box to Thomas in the end and his pass there for Toby is a little bit short but we'll get a throw in. From that throw in and they've been able to clear it but only as far as the number 12. What can he do? Can he bring the ball away for Spring Hill? Not a player that I've seen in their colours before but he seems to be a little bit of a new one as Toby's on his case but he's been able to spin away from Toby cleverly there. Got too tight and he's played it down the line uh, for the 17th chase. Uh, Carell will just do his job there though and see that out. We've got a free kick just inside our half to be taken by Jamie towards the back post searching for Jed and it's one of those again if he connected with it really nicely, it could have been a very nice goal. As I said though, cup quarter final, both teams are gonna to wanna to contest it from the start to finish as the number nine's there uh, up against Lewis. Lewis does his job though, sees it out. I'm not sure he was saying the whole ball wasn't out. He might have been right, but the referee gave us the decision. The ball this time is across the middle of the pitch and it's gone right to the number nine who's played it out wide, looking for this guy on the far side. Jamil gives him a little cheeky shove there. Gets away with it as well as Jed plays this one down the line, looking for Tolu to chase and the number four gets there first. He's a very big guy, that number four. He doesn't play games. A move for us once again has broken down and it looks like Spring Hill could be on the break here, but Carell coming across with a good sliding challenge. The ball's in the air and Toby's jumping or trying to jump with one of their players. He's claiming that he's been held down by him, but play continues. It goes through from uh, Jed to Thomas and Thomas is uh, up against the number four. He plays it through the gap for Jed. Jed then sees the number 12 in front of him, cuts back, tries to play it in towards Simon or Toby. It's cleared away by Spring Hill and they scoop it out for a throw in in the end. Lewis goes over to take that throw in then. Uh, number 11 gets his head to it first this time. It drops to the number 12 who's headed it only as far as me. I play it through the gap for Toby. He flicks it up and keeps it alive for uh, Thomas. Number four gets his head to it. 12 clears it away and it looks like Spring Hill could get it clear and they could be on a counter attack there. Once again, another good challenge from Carell to stop the number 14 in his tracks. A throw from the left this time taken by Tolu. It's into Thomas. He's done well to retrieve the ball and what can he do now? He's found Simon. Simon on the edge of the box. Simon goes for a strike and it's not a bad attempt. Still waiting for him to score one of those screamers. Spring Hill attacking on the left now and they've got the number 12 who cuts inside and plays a ball into the box. Jamil gets there, 
drops down to the 16. He goes for it, but it's not a great attempt. Seems to be uh, their most influential player at the moment, this number 12. He's on the ball again. He tries to switch the play this time. I've uh, been able to block it, and I can get my body in front there. Just managed to poke a toe to it. Looks like nothing's going to come from it. Jed's chasing, though, and the keepers had to make the decision to clear that one. So far in the game, it's still very, very scrappy. It's there for all of us to see. Like, literally, there's not a lot of football that can be played on our home pitch, and you guys can see it. Literally, anytime when someone goes to play a pass or go on a run, it bobbles and it bobbles and it bobbles, and it's very hard to do this and set yourself as totally tries to do just that but you can't keep the shot down so yeah that is definitely one thing that we need to take into account for next season we need a better home pitch because it doesn't even do us favors because we like to play football and keep it on the ground just as much as any other team as this time the ball breaks down to me i've played the ball through the gap there thomas up against number four number four does well and puts it out for a corner that corner is going to be taken from the right. Toby's standing over it. We've got plenty of numbers in the box. Can we make something happen from this corner? It's low. It's into the box. Simon's missed it. Comes out to me. I've gone for the shot. Four's blocked it. This guy's surely going to keep the ball in play and clear it for them. Nope. He's just let it run out. That's another corner. Jed's going to take this one from the left. Can we get a decent delivery into the box again? As it's missed Simon there. It goes to the 17 and Spring Hill are just going to thump it clear. For most of our throwing so far this game, we haven't really gone long and this time we've decided to use it. It's cleared away by the number 8. 16 swipes it. It comes out to Tolu. His shot's blocked. Comes out to Thomas. His shot's also blocked. And Spring Hill with the 16. Clear it away. It drops down to the 17 who tries to get a counter-attack going for Spring Hill. 14 heads it past Jamie. It goes into the number 9. Number 9 trying to skip past a few UTR players. He goes for a shot but he's skewed it wide of the target. The ball's there to be one in the air and I win the first ball. It drops down to the sixth though and then Tolu wins the third header as it drops down to Thomas. Thomas is in control of the ball for UTR. What can he do? He sent the number 12 running and then plays it in towards my feet. I try and get the pass back to him but it's behind and the number four will do the safe thing and put it behind for a corner. From that corner then and it looks like we're going to try and catch him quickly as Toby's gone short for Jed. Jed tries to flick it past their player there. Comes back to Toby. I flick it back to Jed. It's a little brother triangle going on here as Jed tries to get back into the box. Hit off the 12 and it will be another corner. That corner to be taken from the right then. Clipped into the box by Jed. Uh, number six gets the first header. Simon gets the second header. Goes to Jamie and Jamie's shot. His header has been cleared off the line this time as the number six tries to get away. Can we keep this move alive? Number 14 loses out there. Goes to Toby. Hits off their player and number eight can clear it up the pitch. The ball's loose and once again that number eight, he just, he just likes to smash everything that sort of comes his way. You'll see that throughout the game as uh, Tolu tries to spread this one out there. Unfortunately, Toby can't control it and it'll go out of play. Spring Hill coming back at us. They've had a throw. It's gone to the number 16 who's trying to find an angle out of this. He does find it through the gap. Somehow Jamil's let his man get in front. Number 14 up against Jamil and he's committed the foul. Number 12 to stand over this free kick for Spring Hill. Right footed delivery into the box. It's punched away by Corey and cleared or almost cleared by Tolu. It drops down and I've cleared it away. Can we get a counter attack going here? It's dropped to Thomas. Number 6 comes Steven in. Uh, Tolu and Thomas sort of getting in each other's way there and we can't do much with that attack. Corey's got the ball in his hands and he goes to get this one up the pitch with a sidewinder kick as the number 11 gets there first. I go challenging him there and I've fallen awkwardly. Uh, thankfully, no lasting damage. Jed's bringing it forward for UTR. Can we make something happen down this right hand side? He's got quite a few numbers to beat, so he's going to have to pull out quite a few tricks if he wants to get down this right hand side as he cuts inside away from the 12. It's too far for me. It goes to Thomas, though, who's just sort of flung this number six off his body. He's still kept it alive. What can he do? Simon's left it for Tolu, and Tolu once again can't get the technique right, but I said. The bobble is so difficult to deal with on this pitch. And if you get it right, you're doing something special. The ball's loose and it's pretty much anybody's at the moment. And Jed is first there as Simon flicks it round the corner. Thomas to chase up against the number eight. Uh, the ball's gone a bit too wide here, but can he still keep it alive for UTR? It's to the edge of the box to Simon. Simon's shot is flicked on by Jed, but the keeper was just able to hold that one. Number nine over on the far side, up against Lewis. That battle's been happening since the start of the game. Carell doesn't really clear it. Jamie comes across to help out and it drops down to Tolu. Skips past the number six, leaving him for dead. Skips past the number uh, two there as well. Unfortunately, he stopped in his tracks and Spring Hill try and keep their attack alive as it goes to number 17. I've then won it against him. It drops down to the number 12. Lewis clears it away and that is the end of that. The ball's come out wide this time to Jed. He's picked it up from the left and he cuts inside, then leaves it onto me. I pick up the ball. Don't really get it out of my feet here and almost caught in possession. Pretty much caught in possession, but the referee's given us a free kick. Not quite sure how we got that. I had to apologise because I knew I was in the wrong there, but we got lucky. Manny, I thought you said you are going to take yourself off free kicks. I meant the shooting ones, but what can I do with this delivery? It scoops into the box, over the top to Jed, drops down to Thomas. Thomas goes for a shot, but he's rushed it, and we tend to do that with a lot of our shots. Left footed there, and the keeper's just going to gather it. Corey's got the ball in his hands and he goes for a kick that's gone very, very high. No one really knows how to deal with it, but Jed's been able to get it down, but number 12 gets a little toe in there. It'll come out wide to me. I try and play it down the line for Jed. 
11 cuts it out. I get a second chance uh, to deliver the ball into the box this time and it goes towards the back post. It's punched away uh, by their goalkeeper. It dropped down for Toby. Toby keeps it alive, goes to Tolu. He's almost been clotheslined by the number 14. Takes a shot, it's been deflected wide by the number four and we will get a corner. But look at this, number 14 going in there. I don't know what he was trying to tackle Tolu there, but we'll get a corner anyway. Corner to be taken from the right by Simon. Unfortunately, this time he can't get it right. Back inside our half and they've got a corner. Number 12 with a decent delivery towards the back post. It drops down, it's cleared away by Jamil and then further by Simon. Their throw taken into the box. It's flipped on by Tolu, cleared up in the air by myself. Not properly, but then Tolu does the job, finishes it for us. It goes out to the number 12. He's under pressure instantly from Jed. Jed's not allowing him any sort of room and he puts it out for a throw. Spring Hill go over to take the throw then and a free kick's been given against Lewis for a shove in the back. 12 steps up to take the free kick, short run up and it goes into Corey's hands. Tolu's picked up the ball for us, up against the number 16, just shrugs him off and then plays Jed through down this left hand side. What can Jed do? Can he get a delivery into the box? Goes for it with the left foot, unfortunately behind the goal. Their goalkeepers just kick this up the pitch. Tolu with a little bit of a miss kick there as he tries to clear it. A little clash between Corral and the number 17. Jamil sleeping there, lets the 14 get in behind, but a good recovery challenge. Nonetheless, they did want the free kick. Number 12 once again over from the right hand side. Can he get a good delivery into the box? He takes it and uh, Corey sort of flapped it. We've gotten lucky there. They're coming at us a little bit more here. Spring Hill pick it up with the number 14. What can he do? Tries to play it into the nine. Nine tries to get under control. It's come out back to number 14 and whoa, 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 whoa. Has he got my boots on or something? He's absolutely swiped that way uh, wide of the target. Still, still very scruffy. Uh, no one's really got possession right now. As Tolu picks it up, he's done well with those long legs to stop them from uh, getting the attack there as it goes to Toby, who then plays it down the line for myself. Number 12's tracking back up against me though, and uh, I'm trying to get away from here and wriggle. His hands are all over me though. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with it though, and they'll get the goal kick. A lot of their attacks seem to be coming down this side now as this time it's hit off Jed's hand. Referee allows play to go on though. Uh, number nine's got the ball up against Jed. Jed does well to put in a challenge and they'll have a corner. Same guy on the ball for the corner for Spring Hill. This time it's a bit of a higher one. It's into the box. Number four's got a free header more or less and he's put it over the bar. Corey goes to take the goal kick. It's a, a decent kick up the pitch. I've been allowed to control it by the 12 and absolutely swiped out there. We'll get the free kick. Little handshake as well though, and that's done. I'm standing over the ball for us, trying to get a good delivery towards the back post. I've done just that, unfortunately Jamie can't connect with it. I have to say though, since he's signed, I've seen a difference in our defence and I really do like it. Another long ball to deal with and it's dealt with by Lewis and he gets it a second time as well up against 17. I then flick it on and it goes down to Simon. How about that for a touch and hold up play as well? He's got that in his locker. It's so easy for him sometimes and I'm trying to get less. Throw and taken by Spring Hill. Tolu puts in the challenge there and it's a high foot on the 14. 12's going to try again to get a ball into the box. It's a good delivery towards the back post. It's dropped hit off Tolu. It's cleared away by Jamie and we can stop that attack. The individual battle between Lewis and the number nine continues as Lewis makes him run it out of play this time. Pretty scrappy so far in this half, nothing to shout about. Like I said, the pitch does play its part and uh, it's always really scrappy, but I guess that is Sunday League down to the core as this time the referee blows his whistle and it's nil-nil at half time in this cup quarter final. It's nil-nil, like I said, Sunday League, one chance, it doesn't matter who you're playing, they'll score. <laughs> but we've done well, we need to keep it as a clean sheet yeah. and our shots were well, literally doing pass backs. We, when we're in front of goal, just bang it. And listen, the goals will come. They're excited because they can get little 50-50s uh, here, but we need to win those 50-50s, yeah? <laughs> Give them nothing, be strong. They, they like to talk. Yes. Don't get involved in that banter. All when that we talking score, stops when we score. When we score, keep the banter, watch their heads go. Mm -hmm. So keep it up. Better second half, boys. I don't, I don't think it's too bad, but I think we're a bit too cautious <laughs> right now. Yeah? yeah? Agree Let's start to get our heads on. We are the winners here. Look, they're so happy to battle with us. Yeah. So happy they are happy to battle right with now, us. You know, so get your heads on. In attacking positions, we need to make runs, movement, movement, movement. Those of us that worked on that in training, a bit of movement, that's all it takes. Look, that number four is wham. He can't move. Goodness gracious. That's netball, he plays netball. He pivots. Run around him. Come on, man. Facts. Tom, quickly, uh, when I say, you see that centre back with a beard? He loves a header. We're not saying you're a bad header at all, but that's his game. So I'm saying, you see the small one? Yeah. He's that centre back that wants to use tech. Yeah. Go on him. But he, the guy's man marking. Yeah, let him, let him man mark. Him. That's even yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah do you know what you do? Just to move about. to the other centre back. <coughs> It'll be like two and a half. They won't know what to do. That's where you get space in behind you, Jed and Toby. So we might miss you out sometimes. Go um, to the wingers, but that's when we need you in the box. You ain't got the energy. Ninety minutes. Would you be happy with yourself if you keep up with your ninety minutes? Exactly. Just keep moving about. 
Don't let these guys downplay your game. Make sure you go and follow all the Under the Radar social pages to keep up with us. And also, as you're watching Sunday League right now, tweet me a picture of where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, and use the hashtag UTRGang. Time for the second half then, and you're wondering who's going to draw first blood in this game, because there will be goals, that's for sure, as this time I ping the ball forward for Jed, it's a lovely touch, but number six does well to get his body in front, Jed gets back in front though, and he's been taken out from behind, so that will be a free kick to UTR. Once again, I'm going to take the free kick, and I'm going to try and get into an area where we can be dangerous with it, as Jamie's challenged with the number 17, probably a foul in there, but there's a handball in there by the number 16, and then he tries to bring the ball forward for Spring Hill uh, a little bit too easily, but thankfully we haven't got too much danger up there to deal with. We have to pause the game for a moment as Corey needs his laces done by Jamil. Time for an aerial duel and you know he's going to win that. It's going to be Jamie all day long because this time the number four is doing the exact same for them. Simon once again elegantly bringing the ball down as he plays it over the top searching for Toby. Toby got two uh, Spring Hill players there to beat. Can he do that? He's gone to try and cross it back to Simon and it's gone for a corner in the end. Toby goes to take that corner into the box and we've gone for the low route again. This time it's coming for 17 and it'll go behind for a corner. Also, we thought the referee was given a goal kick. The ball's up for grabs again, this time between myself and the number six. Simon flicks it up the pitch, and you can see that we're just trying to put them under pressure there. But some good defending from the number 21. They've got a friend deep inside our half. Number 21 launches it into the box. Jams has been pushed down to the ground by the faller. Free kick. Number 14 for Spring Hill picks up the ball and he tries to switch the play looking for the number 17. He goes after it to chase, but in the end he's just fouled Lewis. Free kick. Before that gets taken, and it turns out Jamil can't tie laces properly because Corey's had to do them again. Anyway, we've got the ball in Corey's hands this time and uh, he throws it out to me. We try and go on a counter attack, but look at the ball just bobbling. How is one supposed to dribble on these pitches? Because this time I try and take it past the 14 and he's cut it out for a throw. Substitution now. Simon's coming off for Luke. Remember, Simon's still trying to get back to full fitness. Also carried one or two injuries, so we've taken him off a little bit early this game. Rolling back to their defence and number eight for Spring Hill literally did that all game long. I'm pretty sure if you go through the clips of the first half as well, you just see him smacking it up the pitch. And this time, uh, 17's gone for a header there. They're claiming for a foul. And is this a penalty, guys? Let me know down in the comment section below. He's won the header. Jamie's given him a little push after there. And it has gone behind for a goal kick. Referee didn't agree with it. And therefore, no penalty. Let me know what you think. I mean, I know we would call for it, but I don't think we'd get it either. If there was ever a competition for the worst throwing technique ever, it would go to Jams. I don't know what that is, but will he do the right thing at the second time of asking? Let's see. Let's watch this throw from Jams. He throws it and it's unsuccessful again. Jams, you need to sort that out. I don't know what that is. Anyway, that takes nothing away from the fact that there are still no goals in this game as this time it's set back to Lewis. Lewis uh, miscontrols it there. Number 21 tries to break and it's a blatant foul. Number 8 for Spring Hill then to take the free kick from inside their half. He punts it up the pitch and first of the ball is going to be Luke. It drops down only as far as the number 2 who's got a lot of distance on that header as well as this time it's flicked on by the 17. Jams will be first on the scene and he clears it down the line. Number 2's overcommitted there and it looks like Jed might be able to bring the ball forward for UTR. Once again though, the number 8 comes across and sweeps up nicely. 16 for Spring Hill swipes at this one and gives the ball away to Jams. Jams gives it to me to the left and I've gone away from the 16, tried to get past the 2 there, kicked it straight off him and uh, somehow the referee has given a goal kick. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, look at my reaction. Over on the right side of the box and the ball comes out to Luke who tries to switch the play to the other side of the box. It's going to be Jed who's going to win that race. Jams has left it for him. Jed then sees myself in support. I take it away from the 16, flick it through the gap for Jams who doesn't quite control it but he gets a good challenge in there. It drops to Thomas. Thomas goes for a shot and it's a very tame one once again straight at the goalkeeper. Number 21 over this side with a loose touch as Toby gets his body in front and uses his strength uh, quite well up against his number 21. Skinny boy adventures definitely paying off as Lewis's pass is deflected goes for a few bodies goes to Jed round the eight and Jed is able to tap it into pretty much an empty net so you can see a few bobbles a few bounces especially on this pitch and you can find yourself a goal up as we have here Jed does very well to convert it though and finally we have that goal that we've been looking for really nicely done and he's able to tap it past the goalkeeper one nil I can tell you now for a fact many teams do not like the way we celebrate or how happy we get but we just love football and you can see from this point on the game is just going to get heated. Late challenge by the number six on Tolu and we get the free kick. I go to take this free kick, try to take it quickly and once again the bobble plays its part but not in our favour this time. It's up in the air for Jams to deal with up against the number 14. 14 goes to the ground, it drops down to me, I've got the 16 in front of me, uh, 6 is also covering behind him but I'm able to back heal it to Jams. Jams tries to get into Tolu, it's cut out by the 16 and the number 8 once again will just clear it up the pitch. This time it's going to drop down though, only as far as me, and I've won the throw off the 14. 
Honestly, I feel like playing on these grounds should definitely make you a better player. <laughs> Look at the improvisation there that I've had to do as Jed gets it into the box. Toby flicks it up for Thomas. It goes back into Toby from Thomas. Toby tries to get under control. Cole's got his body in front and he's trying to see it out for Spring Hill and they've won a goal kick actually. Another substitution, this time we're going to bring on Lamre for Toby. He's trying to get those minutes in, obviously just returning from injury once again. It's inside our box, there's a bit of havoc going on. Jamie comes across to try and put a stop to that and he does just that. Clears it up the pitch as well. It's bounced and smacked off the head of Thomas. Thomas up against number four. Number four gets a toe to it and just about gets it back to his goalkeeper. Just over 15 minutes to be played in this game now and Spring Hill are 1-0 down. They need to find a way back into this game but they can't do it with a free kick like that. Meanwhile, up the other end of the pitch and we're trying to make a break with Jed up against the number two. He's pushed it quite far though there and the number eight comes across the sweep again. Jed goes over to take that throw and he's tried to be a bit sly and look at Jamil whilst throwing it into me. 14 clears it up in the air and it'll drop down only as far as Tolu. Lovely touch goes into me. I've played it back into Tolu. Tolu goes for a shot and he's been taken down by the number 14. He thinks he hasn't touched him there but it is most definitely a penalty and we have an opportunity to make it 2-0 now in this game. So it's our top scorer, Thomas, stepping up to take the penalty. Can he make it 2-0? He does just that. It's 2-0 and it's five goals in three games against Spring Hill now. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you can see there he's getting a bit hyped up because what they did say is he's going to miss, he's going to miss. And that's why he's hyping up. But from that point, it's always going to get the other team heated. <laughs> Are you? So what? A couple games out, you're going to make your play a mess, A couple games out, you're going to show me your now. So over on the far side, it's uh, thrown into Thomas by Reggie and he's turned away from the number four who's just too touch tight to Thomas as the number two's been skipped past. And again by Thomas. What can Thomas do? Can he get a ball into the box? It's a high one towards the back post. Looks like it's going to go out, but Lamre's done very well to keep it in play as the number 21's tried to dribble. You don't want to do that around Tolu, to be honest, as it comes out on the edge of the box to myself and then Lamre can come across and calm things uh, down again. But what can we do? We've got quite a few blue shirts to get through there. Lamre with a lovely, clever pass to Thomas. Thomas with a clever touch down to Lamre, back into Jed. Jed can he finish it? Oh my goodness, that would have been a great UTR goal. Imagine if we had scored that. Uh, look at the way we celebrate normal goals. And goals like that, brilliant play, we would have celebrated that madly. So it's probably best that we didn't score. It's wide of the target. Honestly, we were making so much noise. We were so loud at this point, getting so hyped, and teams hate that stuff, and rightfully so. You guys see with SE Dons, it can get into people's heads, and tempers were flaring at this point. Anyway, they're back inside our half, searching for a goal to bring them back into this game, and this time, Corey's gonna come out. He's missed it, though. It's come out to number nine, and he's gotten it on target, so it's 2-1. It's game on, and you can see they're getting hyped at this point. Number four is absolutely loving it, but that is football. It was a bit of a battle, and both sides were really, really wanting this win. So we've conceded a goal and that wasn't part of the plan. We would have loved the clean sheet and that's what we always aim for at the start of every game as this time we played it forward. It goes to the keeper and he's taking a little sly kick at Jed. So there's a few words being said between them. Like I said, tempers flaring. Less than 10 minutes to be played and now it's time for us to graft. Like I say to the boys, sometimes you're gonna have to win ugly and that's what we're trying to do here as we picked up a free kick for the foul on Luke. I then go to take my millionth free kick of the game as uh, this time I've been able to pick out Lamre nicely. It goes across the box, eight's gone to it, keeper's gone down, Jed's hit the post from like a yard out and it's very, very unlucky there. We should be scoring though. But look at that, keeper with a save. He's even turned away the goalkeeper and Jed should be scoring there. Well, if every chance was scored in a football game, the score lines will be very, very different as this time we got a corner off the number eight. Jed goes over to take that corner from the left-hand side. It's into the box, in swing it and it's found its way all the way into the net. It's gone off the head of the number two and it's found its way all the way in and then Jed comes across taunting. So you can see the tempers have literally got to everyone's heads. Heads were gone, literally. Jed was taunting the goalkeeper for the little kick earlier and this game was so heated. It's been, the honestly I can't lie, it's been the most fun I've had in the Sunday league game in a while. I mean you're 2-0 up, you're chatting a bit trash, they score, they're chatting a bit trash, goalkeeper clips your heels and you have a bit of back and forth there and then you score a corner 
<laughs> I can't even explain that. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it's not right, but at the end of the day, things happen, people lose their heads in football, and that is the game. Speaking of heads being gone, and number 12 and Thomas are going at it, we're all saying that they should leave it, uh, but they're going at it. Uh, referee blows the whistle, they kick off again. Thomas comes across and wins the ball off number eight. Number eight goes diving, and you can see the game's hit boiling point. Number six kicks out at Thomas, and then it's all going to kick off because a bit of beef has started there. I come across to try and play mediator there. Big number four comes across, he's not an easy man to stop, and it's all going off. Number six is fuming with Thomas there. Tolu's holding the number six back. Lamre's got the number four. The beef is all happening, guys. And it's been a while since we've had something like this. Usually it happened a lot with Elton. This time it's one with UTR. We haven't had many of these at all. Number six was absolutely fuming though. Honestly, I have to say it was it was mental. Like it was just all kicking off. But do you know, we dealt with it all right in the end. No one threw any punches, so I guess that is it at the end of the day. As long as people aren't throwing punches and actually getting physical, then nothing's wrong with a little bit of pushing, a little bit of squaring up. It's gonna happen. We're all men. So yeah, you can see, it, it was bound to happen. Honestly, I could see it coming from a mile off. A few bad challenges and it was always gonna happen. I mean, anyway, the referee's come across and he's called Tolu, the captain. I thought he was gonna have a word with Tolu, but instead he's gone to give Tolu Thomas's yellow card and there's been a mistake there, clearly. Uh, so Tolu wasn't happy with that. The 3 one down, they haven't got long left and they need to find a way back into the game as this time I've won the first ball. Tolu wins the second and it drops down to Lamre who spun away from the 21 really nicely. It looks like UTR might have a counter attack on here. Number 21 up against Lamre. Lamre tries to get over the top for me and he is fouled so we will get a free kick. Lamre steps up to take that free kick this time. He's not connected with it. It's cleared away by the number eight. It comes out on the edge to Luke. It goes through to Tolu who's on the side but he can't get under control this time. Lamre starting to get more involved in the game as he's picked it up on the right hand side. He's up against the number four, trying to make him dance. Number four gets a toe to it, comes back to Lamre though, and he's got Tolu on the edge of the box. Tolu goes for a right foot shot. Not much power in it, but the keeper's palmed it away, taking no chances. It comes back out to the left to myself. Number two flings in the tackle there. So it trips me up there. No free kick. 14 comes across. Uh, two and 14 up against me though, and I've been able to win the throw. Reggie goes over to take that throw in. It's uh, bounced over a few heads here. Lamre's arriving, but he can't put it into the net. And I don't blame him because if you watch the replay, if he did try and score that or if he did score it, he is absolutely clattering into that post and I don't blame him for that. In Sunday League, it's not worth the chance. Back inside our half, just on the edge of our box now and Reggie's picked up the ball for us. He's shrugging their players off left, right and centre. Skips past the 14, gets a bit lucky there with the bobble. Look at the dribbling on this pitch. Look how many times it bobbles as Thomas plays it back into Reggie. Reggie tries to get across. Number uh, eight, sorry, has put in a challenge there and we will get the corner, which somehow he doesn't believe. He definitely made that tackle. I've gone over to take this corner anyway. We've taken it short. We're into added time. Obviously, the beef did take a considerable amount of time. As this time, I've tried to play the ball into the box. Late challenge on me by the number 14. The ball will arrive at the back post for Lamre anyway. What can he do? He's played it to the edge of the box for Tolu, and he just didn't have the shooting boots on today. He knows it wasn't his day, and he just shakes his head and then gives us a little laugh as well, because he knows. Bearing in mind, our guys on the sideline are still very hyped up. They're giving it to these guys. They're literally letting them hear everything. As this time, the 17's lost the ball to Lamre. And Lamre, we know he can skin a man just like that. And he does just that. He skips past the 21. He tries to get into the box, but it's going to be a corner. They managed to cut out that corner though. 14's cleared it and it's come further away by the number eight. It'll drop down to myself. I've got the ball under control. And this time we see a little bit of what we worked on in training. Just those two options there. But unfortunately, Jed was offside. But yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the game this time. There's a 50-50 there between Tolu and the 21. The referee blows his whistle and that is it done. We are through to the semi-finals of this cup and we've beaten Spring Hill for the third time this season. Something that I'm pretty sure they won't like at all. But we've grafted, we've done well, we battled. It was feisty, but it was enjoyable for all of us. And we came off the pitch buzzing because, I don't know, it just feels good when you win and also when you win with a bit of cheek as well. Anyway, guys, that is it for this week on Sunday League. Yes, at times we did get carried away in that game, but it can happen to anyone. Uh, teams do it to us, we do it to teams sometimes, and we don't even realise it's just all for the love of the game. We don't actually intend to cause any offence to anyone, so if you take it that way, we do apologise. Uh, but for me, anyway, what's done is done once you get off the football pitch. After that whistle's blown, you shake hands and that's the end of it. But yeah, that is it for this week's Sunday League. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button if you have. Subscribe if you're new as well. And if you want a chance of winning that PS4, you know what you have to do. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. All right, boys, you said we wanted a better second half. Honestly, when you boys fight like that, fair enough it came from because we scored. When we scored, all of a sudden, you lot were playing like we've won 90 games in a row. <laughs> like, when you guys fight like that, Thomas, you fight like that, I'll take your booking for you all day long. <laughs> all day long. But, boys, I've got nothing to say. Manny said it. When we score, 
What happened? It's they, they, fam, their head went, they were biting at everything. All of a they sudden, were silent. every one of us was a C word. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And it's excellent, fam. Boys, honestly, when you play like that, all they want to do is take you out. Listen, yeah, I was about it. to score. I'd have taken the penalty as well, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, boys, boys. Hey, Jamil. <laughs> Take time, I take time when I make mine I keep it real, I never fake mine On the camera in the meantime Kinda quiet when it's me time I breathe thighs in my free time Subscribe then you rewind That's how we do it when we online Three for one nine, all we do in Fortnite Pass the pad if you ain't got the foresight Man, I'll show you what it's like when it's done right Don't blame the ref when he calls offside Three goals I wanna see you with the morning, wanna see you with the night, I just wanna seize the morning.